Hey everyone, you'll notice it's just me today. So Rachel's had a bit of car trouble over the past few weeks. Her car's been in the shop the entire time. As a result, because she still has needed to travel to her patients, she's needed a car, so she's been borrowing her mum's in the meantime. But that's also meant that she's needed to be based up in Newmarket for the past few weeks. We've been living apart for that amount of time, just been catching up on weekends and things like that. But thankfully, on those weekends, we've been able to get up to some really nice stuff. We decided to show you a couple of the coffee walks that we went on during that time. So with that, we're introducing two more amazing coffee spots that you should definitely check out in the city. Okay, so today we are in Liberty Village near where I work and today I'm going to be showing you a coffee shop that has very quickly become my local since we returned to the office after COVID. It's called Arvo's, really excited to go in and show you around, let's go. Arvo opened up only a couple of years ago and it has two different locations in the city. Due to one of those being just over the road from my office, it has become a staple of mine and with good reason. While the coffee itself is heavenly, they do also offer an amazing brunch selection throughout the day. If you are after something a little stronger as you get towards the evening though, then there is also a wonderful beer and wine selection available. Alongside all of that, then they do offer locally procured greeting cards as a nice addition for when you're in a pinch for a special occasion. The reason that we love this place so much is not just because of its convenient location or its delicious coffee and food. It has a really nice and relaxed atmosphere inside, which not only makes it a perfect spot to catch up with friends, but also an ideal place for anyone with a remote job that wants a change of scenery. With the offerings available, it means that Arvo can be a little bit of something for everyone. Our original plan was to go to Arvo's and have our coffees and even try some of their food seated. But as you will have just seen, it was extremely busy in there. There really wasn't any spot for us to sit down. That's just a testament to how great the coffee is. The fact that people can go there and use it as a co-working space or a place to meet friends. It's very popular on a weekend and I'm sure other times as well. Absolutely, but because of the fact we didn't fancy eating out in temperatures around zero degrees, then we just opted to get some coffee instead. They actually offer three different types of espresso bean in there. So they have their normal roast, they have their decaf, and then they also have their Australian roast, uh, which they then put into this drink called an Aussie Magic. I'm not sure as to exactly how they prepare it, but it's something that we normally get every time and it's wonderful. However, we are currently giving caffeine up for Lent. So with that, we are going full decaf and we've got decaf flat whites, each of us. And Rachel's with oat milk. And yeah, we're going to just go ahead and enjoy that. So cheers. cheers Good. That's very good. Mm -hmm. I want to say like just as good as the Aussie Magic, but I don't know. There's something special about that drink. Definitely. Yeah. If ever you find yourself around and you're feeling like trying something a little bit different, a little bit richer, go to the Aussie Magic here. It's really well worth it. Because you won't find it anywhere else. It's very unique. Exactly. And it's divine. Okay, so today we are going to one of my favorite cafes in Toronto. It's called Cafe 23 and it's on Queen Street West. There are a number of reasons that I love this place. Number one, the coffee is phenomenal. Number two, I really appreciate the fact that in all of their lattes, 
they use syrups that are naturally flavored. So at a number of other coffee places, you find that the syrups are artificial, whereas here, if they say it's strawberry, it's actually pureed strawberries. Or caramel, it's really caramel and not just a syrup itself. The other thing is that I find their latte flavor combinations. They do have some of the typical ones that you would find in other coffee shops, but they also have some interesting combinations. You'll also notice that the decor is very unique. It's kind of collected, eclectic, and there just seems to be a story behind every piece of furniture that they have in there. The owner is really interesting and she has pictures of family. So there's just kind of like a history to the cafe and all of the pieces in there, which make it a really welcoming environment that I love. So let's go. You'll notice that unlike normal, when we kind of introduce the coffee shop outside, we're in a parking garage today. This is because I forgot my winter jacket in my car and it is minus 14 outside. So there's no one going out without that slash, I don't want to do a lot of filming outside. Minus 14, I hear you cry. That's really cold. How do you prepare to go out in temperatures like that? Thanks for asking, Nick. Number one, layers. We have a top, we have sweatpants, a sweatshirt, we have a hat, we have a very warm winter coat here, and some handy dandy gloves. And I'll still be cold! Yes, she will, so she will still try and steal my body heat anyway. In terms of what I ended up going for, it is 100% also layers, and then I have a ski jacket, a scarf. I will brandish the hat in a sec because let's face it, this hair ain't gonna stay as it is. And then I also have thermal jeans. Lifesavers. All right, let's go. Everywhere. I can't I can't see spring. I swear I had it on me somewhere. It's weird because I definitely remember ordering spring about a month ago. It's weird why it hasn't come yet. And this is why we're bouncing out of Canada into all warm summer countries. Yeah, sort it out Canada.
I ordered mine with Amazon and we have because it's still wet. So let's give it a go. So this is like kind of I'm going with a tried and tested favorite for me. It's a flavor that I've only discovered since coming to Canada, which is maple walnut. It's one of my favorites, so I'm, but it's been a really long time, so intrigued to give this a go. It just hits the spot. That's really, really nice. So I was debating between this one and log cabin latte and the breezes here are so lovely they will describe to you what the flavors are if you don't know and so I actually asked them for their recommendation between the two and it was a sweeping consensus that I should get the orange mocha and they definitely didn't steer me wrong. So we've been here quite a few times, but we've never actually ventured to have any of their baked goods, no matter how tempting they have appeared. So with that, then, for the sake of you guys, we are actually taking the plunge on this one. So with this, I have uh, what they refer to as the lemon custard croissant. It is huge, but looks absolutely divine, so I'm going to give this a go. What does the inside look like? Well, this is the thing. I think the filling is a little bit later, but certainly for now, because I'm on the outside, then it's still just standard croissant film. It is worth noting that the owner here is French, so with that then, I would have been utterly shocked had their croissant not been up to master. It's beautiful. I just got some lemon custard filling, and it is divine. Pretty much like everything here, all natural flavor, and it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Like having lemon curd from back home, just thrown into a croissant, beautiful stuff. Just to prove that it's all natural flavors, look at that chocolate in the bottom of the cup. And here we are back out in the cold after having enjoyed some delicious coffee and food. I just wish that I could start every morning in there. That's how much I love it. But for now, we are going to brave the cold and walk home. Until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. Meanwhile. I don't even get mad. Because they're just serving really nice coffee. Mm-hmm.